What's up guys, another episode of Vaping with Caleb. Um, today we're going to be talking at, we're going to be looking at the Segele Chrono Shikra kit. This does have the tank and the atom and the mod in it. A friend of mine let me borrow it for a little while to review it. Um, so thanks Heather. Um, before we get to that, let's cover a little bit of advocacy like always. Um, they did just pass into Senate, um, or pa pass the House Committee, a uh, nicotine tax that would be outrageous, completely outrageous. The bill passed 25 to 14. Um, basically, it's going to add $20 to a 60 mil bottle of 12 milligram juice. So, I mean, buying your nicotine, even for you DIY guys, um, the, the tax is basically 2.78 cents per milligram of nicotine. So, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill, I mean, a, a 30 mil bottle of 50 milligram Nick salts would, would end up costing you an additional 41... 41 and some change dollars on top of the bottle price now. And this is a federal tax, not a not a state or a local. This is going to be a federal tax. It is in-house now. Um, also, we still have the, the UV uh, United Vapors Alliance rally is going on in Washington, D.C. November 9th, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., it's going to be held at the Ellipse in Washington, D.C. Um, if you're not already a member, go ahead and join uh, UVA on Facebook. I'll have a link to it in the description below. Um, also, join CASA, guys. Stay informed on what's going on locally, what's going on federally. Make your phone calls to the White House, to your local government. You know, we've got to fight for, for what we believe in, guys, and what's what's helping a lot of smokers get away from smoking combustible cigarettes. If you have somebody stop you on the street and say, you know, that's killing people, explain to them that it's the illegal THC cartridges, the vitamin E acetate that they're putting in some of the, the tinctures and some of the illegal black market uh, products. It's not nicotine vape. It's not what we're vaping. Tell them, you know, four ingredients. Propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, nicotine, and flavoring. That's all that goes into our, our e-liquids, our normal nicotine e-liquids. That's all that's going into them. Sometimes water for a, for a thinner. Um, without much more, though, let's go ahead, drop down, take an up-close look at this guy, and then we'll bring it back up on top, give you my thoughts and opinions on it, where you can find it, and drop all right guys here we have the shikra kit from Segeli. on this side we just have shikra rainbow stainless kit nothing on this side got your scratch and sniff your barcode don't vape in a band nothing on this side if i can zoom in and get that to focus All right, guys, we've got our voltage range, our wattage range 10 to 200, voltage 6.4 to 8.4 volts, output 1 volt to 7.5 volts, resistance range 0 0.05 to 3, temperature range 100 to 300 Celsius, 200 to 570 Fahrenheit, power TCR, TFR, SS, 304, 316, 317, titanium, nickel 200, then you've got your standard configuration, shaker rainbow stainless mod, tank, two user manual, replacement coil, USB cable, replacement glass, warranty card, and spare parts. Down here you've got their social media and a picture of the mod. Zoom back out a little bit. And... Yeah. 
set that box to the side over here. And this box is going to be the mod. It's got your color, some info. Here we've got your child protection lock instructions. This mod does have a lock feature on it. And we have a big spreadsheet here like always. This has a lot of your info on changing modes. Then we pull this out and you have your mod. And this has already been taken out guys. Like I said, a friend of mine let me borrow it just to do the review on it. Uh, we've got a little pass card and we've got a warranty center card. And that is all that's left in the box. Charger cord is in this box for updates only. This is an 18650 mod, so I do not recommend charging while you're in the mod. There's your mod. Got some fingerprints on it already. Do have a spring-loaded 510. Four bolts holding that. Your fire button. Nice and clicky. This one is a little different, guys. You do have a joystick instead of your normal up-down buttons. USB port for updates. And here's your bottom with your battery door. Let's go ahead and throw some batteries. It is marked. It isn't in color, but it is marked. So you got positive up on this side, negative up on this side. And then we have a power-up Segeli. Enter that. Password OK. And then this is going to be your wattage up and down is just clicking up and clicking back down. Hit that. There's your battery levels on both sides. There's your normal soft and hard if you push left and then push left and hold it. You push right you have your screen brightness that may be a little bit better to see on camera right there okay you do have mode and this is going to be your power ni200 titanium stainless steel tfr tcr and back to power and then when you go to power you're going to have hard normal soft and user user you can go in Change what wattage it's at and for how long it's set to that. Um, you can lock this mod. One, two, three. And then it's locked. And you're putting the password in again. Password OK. And this mod does have, if I can figure out how to do it. does have a clock built in I have to try to figure all this out later um, okay what do you have that working now say a no atomizer go figure Open the box that the tank is in. This one does already have juice in it. I did figure out earlier that you can take the coil out while it has juice in it. So if you burn a coil out midway through, you do have the option to change it out without dumping your juice out. Um, while we got this part, you do have a slight doming towards the top in there. This tank does have a weird barrel design that I haven't seen in a while. Um, does have bubble glass also on it right now. In the package you do get spare o-rings, a spare 510 pin, and a straight glass. And then you also get your coil. Now the coils that come with this 
This is a 0 0.25, 40 to 80 watt. And the other is a 0 0.3, I believe. That is uh, 65 to 120. We do have an owner's manual in here. Okay, so yes, it's 80 to 120, and it is a mesh coil, or MSH 0.2 ohm. And then the MS coil is 60 is 40 to 80. The best is 60 to 80 watts, and it is a 0.25. Um, then also you have the Segele approval stamp down there oh, we got some more paperwork stuck to the bottom you do have a warranty card and how to change out your 510 pin I haven't seen very many uh, re refillable tanks come with a um, interchangeable 510 pin I know the CCI Maxi Mouse did but it was also a hybrid compatible tank this one is not so we screw the tank in. We do have a standard 510 drip tip with the O-rings going old school on that. And this is also old school. Screw off top. Nice juicy big kidney fill port. Single. And you do have Where's the air holes? You do have your big Cyclops style airflow on the bottom and it does lock both directions. So you don't have to worry about when you're screwing the mod on or screwed onto a mod that it uh keeps spinning. Now that we've got that there is no timer on this one. There's none of the basic. They went pretty basic on the, the layout. I'm going to check on Segele's website and see if there's a firmware update and see if I can get into more of the settings. Like there, I believe there's supposed to be a clock up here and I haven't figured that out. The time is set on this mod. If you actually go into the set clock and it is 8.22 p.m. But I haven't figured out where the screensaver time is or where the clock is for that matter. So I'll go play with this a little more. And uh, whenever I do the final up top, then I'll uh, let you guys know how, to, how it works. And we'll take it back up top and have a vape on it. Alright, that was an up close look at the Segele Cronus Shikra. talk about a few pros and cons on what I think about this thing the clock I did figure out one one two three four five if you turn the system off that is going to go into your clock setting I'm going to power back up um, the tank uh, I've, I've really gotten where I just don't care for 510 drip tips. Now, if you if you have your if you still uh, have some of the custom 510s and stuff like that, then these will should work on these. I do not. I'm not a fan of 510. Um, the tank is also pretty noisy. So that's a that's a gonna be a con for me. Um, the flavor is really good, and you do get quite a bit of airflow. If I could just figure out how to make it a little bit quieter, then that would be awesome. Um, that about covers it. I mean, it's a it's a sub ohm tank, replaceable coil. We all know how the you know the coils are hit and miss on all these. I've had pretty good luck out of these. Um, as far as the mod goes, it's got a nice, heavy quality, nice feel to it. Um, menu is easy, pretty easy to get through once you figure it out. Um, you do have a password, so if you lock it, 
no one can just pick it up and start vaping on it. They actually have to know your pin and unlock it. Let's see, it pulls up like that. And you have to put in your pin number. Password OK, and we're back to running. Battery life is to be expected on this. Dual 18650. I've been running uh, Sony VTC 5As in here, and I've had at least most of a day out of one set of batteries. Um, the bad is it is heavy. I mean, it's 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 actually stainless steel. Now they do make one that is, uh, I believe it's zinc alloy. It is zinc alloy and aluminum, whereas this one is zinc alloy on the top and bottom, and then it is actual stainless steel construction. Um, the cheaper version, the Cronus, starts off at, I think, around 25 bucks on Element Vape. And it comes in a number of colors. It does not have the clock function, and it also does not have upgradable firmware. I have not tried that on this one yet, but the Shikra edition does have the upgradable chipset and it also has TFR for you uh, temperature guys. Um, the coils, like I said, the mod starts off around, I think Element had them on sale for like 25 and the Shikra is $28.95. Um, the basic Cronus is $24.95 and $26.95 I believe. Um, other other places online, I've seen them anywhere from 30 to 70 so there's a wide range of, of prices on that. They do come in a lot of colors. Um, I'll try to put some pictures up here. Um, the coils for this tank are $8.95 for a 5-pack, so they're definitely on the cheaper end. If you're vaping a lot on this, I wouldn't expect a coil to last more than 3 or 4 days. Just my personal experience on it. Um, yeah, that, that about covers it, guys. Um, like I said, I'll try to get some pictures of the colors. And elementvape.com is where I've, I've looked on these. Um, and they have them on sale right now. So if you're looking for a new daily use mod... It's definitely worth it. Segele always makes a good product. I've had several Segele's in the past. Loved every single one of them. Never really had a problem other than the battery doors liking to break on them. This one has that same battery door, so I don't know if it's going to be that issue in the future or not. Only the thing is this rainbow treated, oil treated stainless look that they went with is a fingerprint magnet from hell. Oh, and it does feel like it's made for a left-hander. I like to trigger fire. The button's on the wrong side or the screen's on the wrong side for me personally. I would have liked to have seen it screen on this side. So it's more of a left-handed. But that about covers it, guys. Y'all keep it cloudy and vape on.